so solids we are going to study so these solids are classified into three categories the first is called as total solids the second one is called as suspended solids and the third one is called as total dissolved solids this is also called as tds okay so these three we have to study now to study this or to understand what comes under total solids suspended solids and tds we first have to go to the basics that is classification of impurities based on the size of impurity so how many categories we have studied there are total three categories based on the size of impurity the first category is called as suspended impurity or we'll call it right now as suspended solids then the second one is called as colloidal impurity that is colloidal solids and the last one is called as dissolved solids okay so if we take if we take a container and in this container if we add water then in this water all these three solids are present that is a suspended solid b colloidal solid and c dissolved solid now as they are solids they won't get evaporated if this whole system is subjected to temperature that means if this is subjected to some temperature this we call it as o1 drying that means if we o1 dry this sample then what will happen the water will get evaporated however these three solids will be present these three solids will be present that is a b c now what is total solids so total solids is the summation of suspended solids dissolved solid and colloidal solid so this is called as total solids the second one second one that is suspended solids as the name suggest it is only this first part a that is suspended solid and the last one that is remaining that is the total dissolved solids this includes the remaining two solids that is colloidal solids plus dissolved solids if we add these two we will get a value that we call it as total dissolved solid t d s now as you can see in this process in this process in the first step we have taken only the sample of water we have not filtrate this or done any other operation on it okay it is a proper raw water which is present in this container now it is subjected to o1 drying so this water has evaporated so what are the impurities that will be present all the three impurities will be present so in this case in this case the solids which are present they are called as total solids that is all the three solids are present so in this total solid in this total solids all three impurities are present all three impurities are present now how to find out it total solids so what we have to do is first we have to take a container so we have taken a container measure its weight so this is the initial weight of container now the next step is add water to this container so we have added the water 
to this container so all the three impurities will be present a b c now in the next step in the next step what we have to do is we have to over dry this so if we over dry this if we over dry at 103 degree celsius for 4 hours to 5 hours then the weight that we will get here that we will call it as w2 and this w2 is the final weight so after oven drawing after oven drying what are the impurities that are present so the water will get evaporated so this water level will get evaporated and only thing that will remain is this impurities now the total solids is defined as total solids it is defined as w2 minus w1 divided by v okay w2 minus w1 divided by v and it is expressed in mg per liter milligram per liter now we know w2 and w1 so this is w2 final weight and w1 is the initial weight of container what is v here so v is the volume of water sample which is added so this volume that we have added here that is the v so volume of water sample okay so by using this we can find out the total solids now let's go to the second one that is suspended solid suspended solids now how to find out the suspended solids so for finding out the suspended solids we have to use a filter paper a filter paper which is called as whiteman filter paper whiteman filter paper number 44 is used to find suspended solids so let's say that this is the filter paper initial weight initial weight is w1 okay so this is the original filter paper now what will happen or what we are doing is that we are filtering the water that is we are doing the filtration so what generally happens in filtration we are putting the water from the top of the filter and the water will pass through this filter and some impurities will be present some impurities will be present on this filter paper so after filtration after filtration what we are seeing is that there are certain impurities which are present on this filter paper and what are those impurities so that impurities are suspended solids so along with this suspended solids there will be some water that will be present on this filter paper there will be suspended solids also and there will be water also so what we have to do again then we have to over dry this filter paper so over dry the filter paper see after filtration there is water plus suspended solids water plus suspended solids now after over drying what will happen this water will get evaporated so on this filter on this filter you will only get you will only get the suspended solids that is a 
now this weight that is the final weight this weight is w2 so the formula for suspended solid suspended solids is same w2 w2 minus w1 divided by v and it is expressed in milligrams per liter where v is where v is volume of water volume of water passed through the filter see once again i will tell it quickly what we are doing we are taking a filter paper from that filter paper we are passing the liquid so what is the amount of liquid that we are passing is the v value what will happen this filter paper will retain certain impurities okay so by using this vatman filter paper number 44 the impurities that will be retained are nothing but the suspended impurities that is the suspended solids so after filtration we will get some water which is stuck to this filter paper along with the suspended solids now if we take this filter paper and if we keep it in oven for oven drying then the water will get evaporated so the only thing that will remain is the suspended solids okay so that weight will be that weight will be w2 so here only suspended solids will be present and by using this formula we can find out the amount of suspended solids now coming to the last one and the most important that is total dissolved solids that we call it as tds now we all know this tds contains what this tds contains colloidal plus dissolved colloidal plus dissolved impurities so to how to find out this then so first what we will do we will take the empty container okay so the initial weight of this is w1 initial weight of this container now what we will do is we will we will will keep a filter paper here so we are keeping one filter paper here so this is a filter paper now if we add water if we add water then tell me which impurities will come inside this second container along with the water so it's an obvious thing that there will be water also in this so along with this the impurities that will come are b and c what is this b and c so b stands for colloidal solids and c stands for dissolved solids why will a not come in that why the a will not come in this because we are using the filter paper so due to this filter paper this a will be accumulated here only on this filter paper we have seen in the previous suspended solids only that by using the filter paper that is what whatman paper whatman filter paper number 44 we can retain the we can retain the suspended impurities so the only thing that is present in this water now are dissolved solids plus colloidal solids okay all the suspended solids are retained here now the same thing we will do okay the same thing we will do in the next step we will oven dry this oven dry so the water will get evaporated and at the last the only thing that will remain here are the b's and the c's and this will be the final weight
final weight W2. So how to calculate TDS then? So TDS can be calculated same W2 minus W1 divided by V and it is also expressed in milligram per liter. Where V is the volume of water. Okay, V is the volume of water which is added to this filter. So, this is how we are able to calculate now the total dissolved solid, suspended solids, and total solids. Very, very important. This slide you should remember about various type of impurities and what are the impurities that will come in total solids? What are the impurities that will come in total dissolved solids? Okay. Now there are certain standard specifications for total dissolved solid that is TDS. So TDS should be according to GOI manual. So this TDS should be present between 500 mg per liter to 2000 mg per liter 2000 mg per liter so these all values are given according to government of india manual okay goi so one more point you can write down if you want there is certain relationship there is certain relationship between tds tds and electrical conductivity okay tds and electrical conductivity and what is that relation electrical conductivity into 0 0.65 electrical conductivity into 0 0.65 will give us the TDS value okay so this relation gives us the approximate value approximate value okay so this is everything about the solids part so in the next video in the next video we'll see the next one that is ph